This building behind me may look pretty ordinary, but what's happening inside of it is extraordinary and could have the potential to have a massive impact not only on Irish agriculture, but also perhaps on the food that we eat. This is an insect farm producing over a tonne of larvae every day in a bid to provide a sustainable alternative to the soya and grains that are imported from all around the world to keep our livestock fed. Hexafly was founded by Alvin Hunt and John Lynham in 2016. What started out in a garden shed has now grown to this 15,000 square foot unit not far from Navan in County Mead. The whole process begins in this room, which is kept at a balmy 30 degrees centigrade to encourage over 1 million flies to mate, with each female producing around 600 eggs. So this is the breeding room, and I suppose it's kind of self-explanatory, is it? Yeah, it's a one joint mating room essentially. It's the first part of the process. Um, so the adult flies will hatch out and uh, they will live for approximately seven to 10 days and the purpose of this room is essentially to get them to mate, to breed and to produce eggs on a daily basis. So at the end of the week you could have 600 million eggs, is that? There's a lot of eggs, essentially, yeah. This fly is called the black soldier fly. It's native to Southeast Asia, but it's been found as far north as Southern France. It's a very docile fly. It's immune to most diseases, but it has a very quick life cycle. Uh, the life cycle is, is about two weeks, high in protein and calcium. So nutritionally, it's perfect, and it's a good fly to work with. So that's one of the reasons we chose it. The eggs are carefully harvested before being moved onto their first stage of growth, where they will go from being eggs to larvae. Alvin and John got into this unusual line of business having met as students in NUI Galway, with both of them coming from farming backgrounds. My grandfather had a dairy farm, which he passed on to my uncle, and I spent almost every weekend there uh, when I was growing up working on it, and I absolutely loved it. And I always had a passion for agriculture. Um, but I suppose studying chemistry, it made me look at things a bit differently. And I thought maybe there's a new way we can produce protein or a new way we can make animal feeds. We started looking at population growth, what's going to be needed in the future. And uh, we saw that there was a need for sustainable protein. So that's really where we started investigating and that's how we started, uh, started the business. One aspect of this business that helps make it sustainable is the use of waste product from breweries to grow the eggs into larvae. So these are the larvae at day six. Can't see much going on there. So you can see they're actually all oh, underneath look here. At them. And they have grown quite considerably. Wow, yeah, yeah. Since, uh, since they were eggs. So how much bigger are they already in six days? They've is already grown a couple of hundred times their size. Really? And in total, they'll grow over 2,000 times from egg to larvae. As the larvae grow, they need more food and more space. So they're moved into another room to finish the process. There we go. At the end of the growing process, the finished larvae can either be sold live or processed to create different types of feed. The live larvae can be fed to poultry straight away. Backyard growers and even myself, I have a few hens, so I feed them and they go absolutely mad for it. They really, really love it. The rest of the larvae are screened and washed at high temperature. They go through this big oven at about 140 degrees Celsius. They get cooked, they get dried, and they get dropped into that popper at the end there. And what we end up getting is meal powder. Is there no waste? No, there's no waste from this process. We've got a byproduct which is the frass, but we use that as an organic fertilizer. And what's frass to the man in the street? Frass is the insect manure. Fly poo. Exactly. And we have it by the ton bag here. Okay. We get about two tons of it a day. And it's got some very interesting properties when used on the likes of barley, potatoes, or any crop really that has a high nitrogen requirement. Currently, Hexafly is limited under EU regulations as to where it can sell its products, which at the moment is mainly to fish farms and pet shops. The EU is actually fast-tracking approvals for poultry and swine for, for the dried meal and dried larvae in the next two years. 
Is the EU falling behind the rest of the world in this regard? Yeah, I suppose in the US you can feed dried larvae to, to chickens and that's a really big industry at the moment. Asia and Southeast Asia has really boomed in terms of this industry, in terms of feeding it for poultry and swine and a whole range of other animals. So the world is really picking up on insect protein. In anticipation of the relaxing of EU restrictions, John and Alvin have raised over 4 million euro to build their business even further. We're looking to the future to build plants much, much bigger, 10 times the size, and to be able to expand globally into different markets, the UK, Europe, the US. I think insect protein is the future. We need to find new sustainable ways of protein and insect farming is definitely going to be a huge part of that. <laughs> I don't know whether to be repulsed or fascinated by these guys, but one thing's for sure, if we want to become more sustainable, we're going to have to accept that these have to be part of the food chain, either being fed to our livestock or possibly on our dinner plates too.